Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising, monthly tarot reading February 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But at, and also I'm going to try to give you a few examples here just so I can make my uh, point to go across a little bit more clearer. But uh, ultimately you will have to align that reading with your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now if you want me to do that for you um, or to analyze your situation just like I'm doing with the examples here through tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And oh my god, guys. So what we have here is quite of a, uh, a triangle, it does look like. So... We have a lot of reading on our hand, uh, or a, a lot of potential, big one for that matter. And uh, the thing is that it is with someone you already know, all right? And uh, at that specific point, as I'm making right now the, the reading in, um, in January, uh, most likely you're not realizing that this person, or I, I mean that you can be something much more with that person than you, than you are right now. The, uh, these two pages are pointing that you will start developing emotional connection with a person that you have just as a friend right now and uh, that most likely is going to happen through a, a mutual experience that you are going to have together for example uh, just for the shits and giggles you may decide to go on a, a party with that guy or a girl it doesn't say what kind of it's going to be and uh, Basically, uh, what happens is that uh, at that event, uh, you will kind of like start feeling that, you know, you actually care about that guy or a girl, all right? And that you kind of like, it's, it's not just a friendship. That's my point. Uh, the Page of Pentacles here describes exactly that. It describes the long-term devotion that you had until this very moment and as well the potential for a, a, a long-term, how can I place it, a long-term improvement. The Page of Pentacles is about a, a growing seed, all right? And if now you are just friends, the, uh, the that friendship, from that fr friendship is going to thrive and flourish something much more beautiful than, uh, than just a, a friendship. And it's, just look at that, it's, we do have the Empress as well. So what the Empress uh, it does point uh, <clears throat> in this specific case, it's the beauty of the situation. And on top of that, it's, um, <clears throat> it does consolidate on the long term uh, on the long term commitment here. Now it's important to know that uh, while you are a friend with someone, <clears throat> you know you can uh, you can approach it much more lightly, carefree, and etc. etc. But when it comes to more deeper emotional commitment here, uh, <clears throat> the whole situation it will require from you to be much more mature uh, than uh, than you are as you are attending to them as a friend. <clears throat> Additionally to that, the Empress here and the Page of Pentacles points that you are going to see how much that person cares for you. I mean, this is going to be the hint, this is going to be the sign how you are going to recognize if you want to recognize that guy or a girl from from this very moment who they are. Uh, for example, <clears throat> that that should be a, a person who offers their help without you even asking for it. That should be a person who always tries to make you feel better and etc etc. And it is someone, as I said, that you already know. So be vigilant about that kind of a, a guy or a girl. Or if you don't have it at that very moment, as now is uh, January 15th, uh, at some point from now till February, you should meet such kind of a uh, 
such kind of a person but it is important as well you know how you play your cards with them because the Empress I don't want to say it but it has a little bit of an, an ominous um, kind of property and it says that you're gonna reap whatever you sown alright and either this is going to good and bad good or bad so it will be important to put your pride on the shelf for example your shyness as well and in general to uh, how can I place it um, to approach this guy or a girl with a great amount of candor and sincerity as well how you can do so page of cups uh, with the uh, ten of wands so you have to completely forget the restriction that one friendship uh, kinda is accompanied with you know once stuck in the friendship zone it is unlikely to go away from it so what these couple of cards here are pointing is that you need to readopt your position you need to allow yourself to think that uh, friends are not prohibited for emotional connection, for a love emotional connection. Now throughout this month, because the page, the page stands in this position, you are, you are going to start feeling uh, the need to be loved and the need to love someone. You will start to, uh, to, need, uh, to, to feel the need to have um, kind of like your life to have a purpose, love-wise I mean, not career-wise here. And especially if you are single, that will uh, this um, these intentions here will seriously make you consider, you know, giving a chance into someone that until this very moment, as I said, you were looking at them just as a friend or just as someone that you know you can have a chat with and etc. Uh, etc. Et it's important with these cards to provoke the change to happen, and uh, <clears throat> this can happen only by you reassessing your positions yourself and your criteria as well because the ten of wands is pointing that you are following a very strict criteria and you need to kind of like open a, a certain doors so you can invite the love to come in your way I mean even though you can kind of you are finding that person acceptable to a certain extent still if they're uh, if they're not fulfilling a hundred percent of your criteria, you may not be willing to give them a chance and here it is the readoption of new positions regarding those criteria and uh, making a compromise with those criteria because and as much as I don't want to say it, it is highly highly unlikely that in our lifetime we're going to meet the perfect guy or a girl that happens only to a one percent of the uh, of the population all right so we need to leave a a margin for compromise we need to leave a margin for differences because <clears throat> even if they have some differences um, well, um kind of like uh, compared to you uh, Look at it from the bright side, guys. Differences, it's uh, what makes us perfect or what kind of like what makes us special to one another. You don't want someone just exactly like you just to amplify, you know, your positivities and your negativities. You want someone to balance you and that can happen only by if that person has some differences uh, which are counter your your differences if that makes uh, if that makes sense but nonetheless you need to approach uh, <clears throat> this person that you are going to define just like I explained uh, previously um, with a great amount of warmth and as well um, with a, a huge amount of candor and don't be biased or uh, premeditated about how this thing should develop you just go with the flow allow yourself to love someone or to allow someone to love you very very important the next card that we do have these are the challenges which are causing predicaments that will be the uh, queen of wands uh, followed by the two of cups and so uh, as we said that you need to allow yourself to love and to allow someone to love you what we do have here is the very uh, how can I place it the um, well the difficulty for your behalf to share and I don't mean to share your time or to share your home or you know to share 
I don't know, your popcorn, if you want to say it that way. But to share what you feel and to share, um, how can I place it, to share your daily routine. So, for example, you had a bad day at work, you know, and uh, you may have a hard time sharing it with that person to say to them, you know, why you had a bad time at work, you know, and, and, and what you feel about it and etc, etc. It's kind of like sharing your feelings because these cards here are pointing that as soon as you start sharing uh, the, uh, the pain that you are experiencing or rather like the, the disappointment that you are going to experiencing is going to be diminished by half and the joy that you are experiencing from your daily routine is going to be doubled so if you experience today for example something exhilarating well just share it with them I mean tell them what you have experienced it and uh, you're going to see that that makes them happy as well because your happiness is going to be their happiness either additionally to that <clears throat> For some of you, just for some of you, they could be predispositioned to think that they deserve more than that person, so that they deserve someone better, right? Uh, what we said that you may never, we may never be able to find the right guy or the right girl the, the, the way that we are imagining them to be, all right? So some of you Pisces may think that they do deserve better and there is nothing wrong with that guys. I mean uh, that will make you completely skip this opportunity and you may as well ignore the rest of the reading. Right? If you are, uh, if you are unyielding about that specific standpoint of yours. For example you may have um, an, an adoption of impression that you deserve someone who is very rich and that should take care of you for the rest of your life and you are unyielding about that standpoint and you will never involve yourself with someone who is poor and who is making uh, their living with a hard labor and that person could be exactly like this you know and uh, even though they are handsome even though they are educated and etc etc ah, they are not rich so I rather gonna pass on that you know and again there is nothing wrong with that it's just uh, it is just that point that uh, this month is going to be deprived from any kind of other activities and uh, you know there will be nothing kind of like amusing happening throughout the month throughout the rest of the month but those who can make a compromise once again I mean they will have a, a big chance to um, to spend the rest of the year or maybe the rest of their lives with a uh, understanding and uh, loving partner right so uh, the next card that we do have this is the guidance that Taro is offering to you and we do have the two of Pentacles here with the full card so as I said that you need to go with the flow that is what the guidance is pointing right but you should by going with the flow it doesn't mean that you should be in unresponsible right with these cards you need to sh uh, the guidance here is telling you that you need to show to that person that you are flexible that you are open-minded that you are willing to make you know compromise with some of your criteria you, you are willing to give them a chance but in the same time you are not you are not a fool you are not stupid and you don't like to play with uh, with your emotions right so with these cards it means that um, you will have to uh, if you if you want to take it that way you should talk with them when it comes to this this when it comes to decision making should you should you make a relationship or not or should you try to make a relationship or not it will benefit you for example to talk with them and to tell them that yeah you're willing to experiment uh, to experiment you're willing to see what is going to happen all right but you should make a point here that this is no game all right and if they are doing that just so they kind of like get into your pants uh, it is better not to do it because that will not just gonna ruin your friendship but also is going to ruin the connection overall so uh, here all the whole chance of making the leap of faith and taking a risk should be excluded so uh, these cards are pointing that commitment should happen only then 
when you are start sharing your experiences with one another and when you find that there is just more than a friendship with one another and the third rule or the third criteria here um, or the third um, I'm sorry I forget the word um, the third condition, excuse me, is that you will have to also be willing to readopt position and positions and to make a, a compromises with your personal criteria and they as well need to do it also. So it's kind of like you are diving into a, a unknown field, right? Being in an intimate, intimate relationship with a, a someone that have been friend of yours until this very moment. So it's kind of like it, it will be awkward. You know, and uh, it's uh, it's very possible that at very at the very start you may not know uh, where the boundaries are set in between you two, all right? And that could provoke a, a very awkward and uh, funny situations. But again, that's why the guidance here is saying that you should be uh, very playful, all right, and uh, willing to experiment uh, in this uh, in this new uh, enterprise. That happens to be a relationship, but in the same time, as I said, you should not be uh, you should not be a fool, and you should not allow that person to play with your emotions and with your feelings. Nor you should do that as well. All right, so that goes both ways. All right, so uh, also these cards are pointing that you are going to see that this. It's, uh, as I said, it's something unknown for you, but as well, you're going to see that that will start changing your life, little by little. And uh, changing your life little by little, I'd say it doesn't mean that it's going to change it for the worse, but it doesn't mean that it's going to change it for the better as well. It's just your life is going to start becoming different. And uh, you should take it as a, a new adventure. You should take it like as a... Uh, um, a new beginning, if you want to say it that way as well. But not just like the fool, all right? But let's say you need to take it like a, uh, a transformation of your current life toward the better. And the last card that we do have, this is the four of, um, <clears throat> the four of wands with uh, the um, justice card. And here we are seeing the, stable, the stabilization of the whole thing. As we said, you will be playful throughout the month, aligning and, and taking on these uh, changes, small changes, as I said, that your life is going to, uh, I don't want to use the word suffer, but let's say incorporate. And at the end of the month, uh, now you will know uh, what kind of uh, responsibilities everybody bears and that will consolidate the cycle of development from now on after the end of the month should you choose to be with that guy or a girl things are going to be exactly as they are supposed to be into one relationship that is going to be the culmination and the final finalization of the cycle of development here regarding your romantic life uh, <clears throat> as everybody will know how they stand in there what responsibilities they have toward the relationship and what is the right thing to do toward one another as well the justice card is pointing that this cycle of development is going to bring you balance so this is going to be completely balanced relationship where everybody is equal or you are equal to uh, one another and of course not to mention that that is going to give you a, a prerequisite to celebrate <clears throat> all right and uh, for some of you uh, things could speed up so fast that that could as well be engagement a marriage who knows I mean the possibilities are uh, countless here but you need to know that cycle of development does not mean ending it means ending of a um, a lower phase of, of of one's undertaking the next phase that you are going to have is going to be uh, in a much higher level all right so it's going to be much more serious than it is at the month of february so uh this is how i feel that our reading is going to be uh, all about and uh, in case we're talking about career uh, then uh, this uh, this reading here it's pointing that 
in case we're talking about career of course because not everybody is going to be prone to relationship and I, I feel myself obliged to give you as much options available uh, and as much you know um, examples so you can make a sense of it so career wise these cards here are pointing a, a, a very long term development or enterprise that happens into the career something that is going to be in a stage of planning at the month of February and while the thing is planning is going to involve the whole company or the whole collective in there and you need to kind of um, reassess yourself reassess your positions so you can drop off a certain current undertakings or certain current responsibilities so you can leave a room when that thing is actually initiated which happens at the end of the month here and again the problem for you is going to be to ask and to uh, kind of like um, share the profits or share the benefits from that thing that, that could be initiated at the end of the month that project that could be initiated at the end of the month with someone else so you will try to play solo which is not ideal thing I mean you have to kind of make a team work with someone else in order to be most beneficial from from this um, from this undertaking and uh, finally here what we do have is that uh, this undertaking is going to start changing your career your place and the company at all and you need to align yourself with those small changes by not going forth with a specific plan but rather uh, you know play um, kind of like you know take on the things as they are thrown to you rather than uh, performing according to to go list and here at the end of the month we are seeing this planning happening at the start executing already executing and I hope that you have reassessed your positions uh, accurately so you can take place in this major major undertaking so that being said Pisces this was your monthly tarot reading for February 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was just a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and in this video I tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but ultimately you will have to align it to your situation just like I did for the examples in this video if you want me to do that for you, uh, to analyze your situation through tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.